this is a buddy of mine's Xbox. I, I've got a 360 Slim, so that and plus people probably leave comments, you know, fucking Xbox, you know, buy a PS3. Well, my brother's got a PS3, so all I gotta do is hit him up, I guess, a little bit and borrow it. These over here. I know this part is fucking atrocious long, but it'll start making sense in a minute. Crap. Told you, that screwdriver's gay. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, no. I watch too much Family Guy, I guess. Who wants to pluck my G-string? It's kind of creepy. Okay. Now, one screw left. And I hope this damn thing don't fall, or the stuff that I'm getting ready to show you falls out. Because I can't mess this part up. And it is sliding. Okay. This is the part that you guys need to see. So I'm going to cut this, and I'm going to go to the... Alright, as you can tell, this is what happens when you take your Xbox apart. This is what it looks like. Kind of left you in the dark. Just told you about the screw part. You want to... You can pick it up... Um, Probably about right. This one just kind of floats, but I it's kind of hard to do with one finger holding on. But there you go. You just slide it out, you know, kind of at an angle like that, and pick it up. Okay, so now that I've done this, this is the part I wanted to get to. Oh, shit. And I did lose one. Okay, we'll see. That's not good, because that's, that's exactly what you don't want to happen. Okay, but... These are the heat sinks. Well, this is what they used, Microsoft did. They're like little band-aids, is what I've heard some people call them. It's like a real Play-Doh type stuff that's got like this little blood-sucking pad on it or something. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's like Microsoft's tampon towards the uh, heat problem. I don't know. But the, the penny trick, you take two pennies, you stick them... Let me let me just. Sh some people don't don't get it. Some people, some people, you people. What? Okay, you take two pennies like that. You wrap them. Sorry, 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 sorry. Having difficulties. You take two pennies like that. Sorry. You wrap them one way around it, and then the other way around it, and of course you have to pinch all the corners so no part of the penny is showing and of course these were stuck this is what it looks like it's a little little chip but this is what was stuck on it and the pennies with the electrical tape are what you're replacing and I used Radio Shack silicone base heat sink compound. Um, I think I paid like six bucks for it at uh, Radio Shack. So you just take, and I'm going to have to redo this one so it's kind of a good thing that I did. Um, you take just a little dab. It does not take much. Probably that might even be too much. So I'm going to wipe some of that away. And then you just take your penny and of course place it neat on there and just push it down a little bit until it kind of stays in place and that's pretty much it then you take it and you take the board once you've done that let's see if I can do it without screwing anything up and then you take it you put it in at an angle and then just drop the back into place slowly because you really don't want to mess with the heat sinks you want them to stay exactly where they're at like I said I'm not guaranteed this will work but it worked for me one time so I'm hoping and praying that it works this time and then of course you want to take your fans and um, 
put those back so we're gonna do that real quick so you take them take the bottom of them down here slide them in there and the top Oh, sorry, I didn't show you all that part, but it it just pops in right there. And of course, you take the plug that I told you about. It's kind of hard to do with the camera in the way. Then you just plug it in, make sure it's snug. Then you take your fan cover, your little cold air intake, if you will. Make sure nothing's in the way. And it just kind of wiggle it around. I can't tell you the exact thing, but you just wiggle it just a little bit and it'll pop into place so it looks just like that again. Then you want to take your disk drive and lower it down gently. Bam! What the hell? No. Okay. Then the cords that you unplugged, you want to It's kind of do, kind of hard to do with one hand, I guess. Maybe. Okay. So you want to plug that one in, and plug that one in. I couldn't do that in the last video, so I guess that's a plus. But then it just sits in there like that. Okay. Now once all that's on, then you want to turn around, put this, take the little port. Sorry about that. I had to push the motherboard down a little bit because it's not bolted. That goes there. And then, of course, you want to put the three screws back in it, which it, I'm going to have to uh, cut the video real quick. Take the three screws, take those out, or put those in. I'm sorry. Put those in. Put this back over it. So, hold on. I'll be right back. And there you go. One, two, and three. And... Sorry about the shaking. Two fingers, like I said, it's a pain. Just kind of bear with me. And then, shit. On here, there's two arrows. Hey, it's focusing kind of. There's two arrows. Of course, they always go up. They just attach to the sides right there. You want to make sure that the button is at the top right there. It's upside down, but this is the top, and then there's a little light right there. You want to make sure that's, you know, put on right. So, but then all there is left to do is assemble. So then, of course, with the next trick, since everything is plugged in, okay, then you want to take and put your case on. So, hold on, I'm going to get it to zoom a little bit so I can start putting it together. I know this is a wacky video, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm new to this whole thing, so just bear with me. But then you take, everything's put together, you've got your cords plugged in to your disk drive, you've got the fans put back in, you've got the vent cover, of course it cools down, everything here. Um, so then you just place this, make sure that it goes down over it. Just work with it a little bit. Okay. Let me fix this. Okay. Okay, now it's not wanting to go down. Why is this? Oh, okay. I didn't have it in the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. Once you get it down, um, first screws you want to pop in are the silver ones. Um, sorry, not really 
good at this whole 